Hey guys, what's up? This is Mainak and you are watching Swill Bro. So today, uh, Swill Bro will show you uh, one of the inspection of slab. What are the things we should you know check uh, during or before the slab casting? So all the things which you have seen in earlier videos, and we'll add some things uh, so that you can uh, check any slab at site. So first of all, uh, what you need to check is the proppings so as you can see here steel proppings are used and since the height is more than 6 meters here 6.6 .6, so that's why this uh, you know this brick had to be given so you have to check you know that this is stable you can see that uh, there are no you know movements when you just touch them and apply some uh, little force and as, as you can see for safety also uh, they have just given these uh, supports in two directions you know in two places so that a little bit more stability is, is achieved so you should check the proppings and then next uh, you will go to the slab to check the drawings and everything so here this is the temporary staircase which has been made uh, for the casting so so all the materials will be taken manually through this staircase so the staircase you know should have these railings uh, so that uh, some safety is maintained and uh, it should be such that uh, everyone can easily climb so you can also see that here uh, there was a lintel at uh, 3 meters and of the lintel the support of the all the beams have been given so let's move up so to check the temporary staircase is suitable enough for Know, carrying materials by labors so here we are at our slab so this is our slab as you can see mainly there are two uh, spans and in drawing both the designs are symmetrical so we'll check now each and every detail but before going into detail uh, let's see some of the things First thing before checking the drawing, we should check is the shuttering. So generally there is a mistake in uh, the column part if it is not properly done. So you can see, you should check whether you know all the rebars of the column have proper cover in them. So that should be checked. Then if, if there is any gap, then you can instruct the laborers to fill that. And next is the cover. You should check whether proper cover has been given or not. And also the electrical conduit plan is as per drawing or not, the number of lights and fans required. And the next thing you can check is whether uh, you know in the top and between the top and the bottom bars to maintain the gap, proper chairs have been given or not. You can simply walk over the extra bars and if it doesn't bend much, then you can say that the chairs have been given properly. So these are the few checks and again. Uh, just from looking at the span you can see that uh, you know in this particular slab uh, this span is the shorter span and uh, this one is the longer span so as you can see in the bottom in the bottom uh, you know uh, reinforcement as you can see if you just uh, check the you know entire uh, span together this span is the longer one this one and this one is the shorter one so you can see that the uh, longer span is at the bottom here longer span bar is at the bottom and then this uh, shorter span bar of the of, among the bottom bar the shorter span bar is at the top and for the top bars you can see the distribution bar is at the bottom here 8 mm distribution bar at spacing of 200 mm has been provided and the main bars are at the top the 10 mm bars are the main bars here so anywhere you can see the top reinforcement the distribution bar is at the bottom here and the top main bar is at the top and then, then you can also check uh, here that whether you know in the uh, the uh, all the slab extra rebars have been properly you know hooked or not there are some you know hooks as you can see here that are not fully vertical so you have to make them fully vertical by uh, tying with the help of binding wires okay then uh, in some drawing some meshing is provided 
uh, especially at the you know corners where columns are there to prevent punching here but here as you can see already uh, because here one extra extra top bar is coming in the continuous pan and here another extra top bar is uh, coming from this pan so already there is enough meshing here so these are the things you know which you can check before the drawing let's check the uh, you know column shattering of this side also let's see as you can see this shattering you should check as you can see here uh, the development length of beam is actually there so before casting you have to give a cover block so that there is no you know honeycomb developed due to lack of cover so these are the things now let's uh, check the drawings so if you come for checking you must have a measuring tape with you at least 5 meters and another you know big measuring tape of 15 or 30 meters so that you can check so you can see this is the you know drawing which you are uh, you know seeing right now and in this drawing you can see these are the uh, this is the uh, you know extra length for the continuous pen so for the continuous pen we have 1300 from you know 1500 1300 from this side and uh, 1500 from that side so uh, you can see uh, this is the uh, you know uh, drawing but now we are casting this particular slab here and uh, this is these are the two spans s5 and s5 so it means that both are similar so here as you can see this is the extra top bar and uh, this is the extra top on this side and this side and at the bottom we have H so bottom we have H on both sides so you can see the detail of H in here and H has a spacing of 150 mm bars and uh, these are mainly your 10 mm bars so at the bottom which means that the entire you know both the slabs there is 10 mm bars at a spacing of 150 so let's check that first and after that we'll see other drawings so this is a basically center to center distance for checking you can just uh, take from one end and uh, and you can check here like this as you can see this is little bit more than 150 150 is uh, around here so this is around 170 and let's check this one so this one is you know accurate this one is 150 mm bar so like this you can check here if there is anything like this one is a little bit wrong so you can modify that so let's check along this side this side let's check so this is uh, perfect as you can see from this end to this end this is 150 and let's check this one as well you can check two as well 150 to 300 so you can see this is okay the spacing and in this side as well let's check along this side also it is uh, 300 so there is little bit error there uh, so we have to just adjust that so but you know now to check now now let's go to the you know top bar uh, drawings so for the top bar uh, you can see that uh, in one side that is the discontinuous end we have the uh, you know after the beam we have 800 okay and so let's uh, check that uh, that we have 800 or not along this side so this is the side here so i'm showing you live demonstration so that you can understand properly uh, i don't have anyone to catch so i'll take it from the beam okay i'll just use it from the beam okay so i'll just deduct something so as you can see this length this length i've taken from exactly from after the beam so this is little bit more than 800 so it's okay so this extra you know bar is okay but this is only the length what about the spacing so for the spacing let's check here so as you can see this bar has your mark h so h has a spacing of 150 okay so let's check whether this is 150 properly or not so you know apparently this looks like not properly tight but anyway let's check so this is as you can see this is not exactly 150 more than 150 this is around uh, 160 so let's check another one i think this is okay so as you can see this is exactly 150 mm so it should be 150 mm so so you have to check the entire span and check whether everything is 150 so here also 
it seems like we have an error here as you can see this spacing is around 160 so all these errors have to be corrected uh, before the casting but you know now how to check so this is the duty of the engineer to check so let's see let's check the other things as well and uh, this one as you can see this one in the both sides uh, this is 1100 and this is also H meaning that the spacing is 150 mm okay so let's check this uh, spacing first and then check 1100 is there or not so the spacing here 150 is accurate this as you can see this is not accurate this is 165 so you have to all fix that now let's check whether the distance is uh, you know okay or not so we'll check the distance here from this side so I'll just take it the distance after the beam and here the distance is okay the distance is perfect is 1100 or a little bit more so if it's more there is no problem but if it's less then then there is the problem here also in this side the extra top should be 1100 so let's check so this is 1100 uh, 40 a little bit more I have to just detect the cover now it is 1100 so exactly 1100 but let's check the spacing here I think the since the spacing in on other sides is a little bit you know not accurate so here also some error will be there as expected so a little bit more 320 of 2 so if there is 2 150 2 there should be 300 but it's around 320 so little bit error is there in the spacing but the length is okay so now let's check the other side so that one that one will check so that one also similarly it should be your uh, 800 as we had seen so let's check here we'll go there and we'll check the length and also the spacing If you have anyone with you to check that is better okay so it is more than 800 it is 820 so this is okay so let's let's check the spacing so let's check take two bars it should be 300 so a little bit more 310 is there so not that accurate the spacing but the you know the length is okay similarly you know hey these two slabs are similar now we can check this slab so uh, this, uh, this this is the way to check the you know slab reinforcement uh, i have shown you live demonstration now let's also check the beam so for checking the beam you can have to first have to see the framing plan and in the framing plan you see the beams so let's check the middle beam so we can see this is the uh, tb9 so for the details of the tb9 we have to check the detail page so here as you can see all the details are given and here there is the details of TB9 which has been given. So TB9 details is there is a, in the bottom there is 3 bars of 20 mm and in the top there is also 3 bars of 20 mm. Okay and uh, first let's ch check that first an extra bar 2 bars of 20 mm are the, uh, extra present at the bottom and 3 bars of 20 mm extra top at both the sides so let's check and the you know depth of the beam is 600 so let's check the bars first and then we'll check the lengths and all let's check first if there is uh, you know two bars of 20 mm at the top and and uh, three bars of 20 at the bottom as all through so let's check first here as you can see so uh, as you can see here we have one and two two bars of 20 mm at the top and in the bottom also if you look uh, carefully I'll just see from the end because there I'll see properly so as you can see there are two layers actually if you can see properly but I think light will be not be there but there are one to three bars of 20 mm which are present okay and uh, for the extra bars let's also check the extra bars here extra bars you can see one two three 
एंड फोर एम द फोर वन हैज दी हुक ओके फोर एक्स्ट्रा बार्स एट दी टॉप वी आर सीइंग हियर एंड यू कैन सी सिमिलरली एक्स्ट्रा टॉप एट दैट साइड आल्सो वी आर हैविंग फोर बार्स थ्री रेगुलर बार्स वन टू एंड थ्री एंड वन बार हैज द हुक सो यू कैन सी हियर the lengths here and we can verify that okay so three bars uh, which you can see the extra and uh, we have this length of 1400 and one bar you can see one bar of 20 extra this is a hook so 1400 three bars of 20 mm and you can check that and the bottom uh, bottom one length is you know leaving 1000 from this side and 1000 from this side there is the extra reinforcement of you know 3 bars of 20 mm so we'll check uh, whether you know 3 bars of 20 mm which are provided and the hooks these are at 1400 or not so while measuring you have to careful and if there is anyone to assist you make sure you take their help it's not recommended they do it alone because it can be risky so i am just taking it from here and as you can see this length is perfect it is little bit uh, more than 1400 is around 1440 but it's okay if it's more than there is no problem if it is less than a problem can be there so this you can see and uh, so here like this you can see the lengths let's also check uh, in that side also whether there is uh, 1400 or not the extra bar at the top so just you know take it after the cover this one so as you can see this is more than 1400 so it is okay so the extra bars here are you know okay there is no problem in the extra bars and another thing you, can, you have to see that whether the hooks or the development length have been provided or not the bottom bar as you can see these are the hooks of the bottom bar which are coming up uh, as per our drawing it is 50d plus 16d 50 is the diameter 15 into diameter of the bar plus 16d so this total development length bar starting from here and this one this should be 15d 50d plus 16d so development length is important for anchoring in some small sites it is ignored but you should check that so these are the things uh, which i have checked in uh, my side today and if there is anything else you can add in the comments and if you found this video useful uh, you can just uh, drop a like to show your support and in the next video of site i'll show you the you know plain beam uh, you know arrangement and checking for this uh, particular area as you can see okay so that's all for today bye bye take care